Hello, space nerds. So in astronomy, there's a lot of complex stuff that goes on and a lot of things you have to remember and names and stuff and facts and sometimes all of those facts and names get all jumbled up in my head and it's hard to figure out which one goes to which thing and I don't know, I'm so confused now. So today I'm going to tell you guys a little trick that I came up with that helped me remember the difference between a meteoroid, meteor, and meteorite, and which one is called what. Meteoroid. A meteoroid is a small metallic or rocky body that is in outer space that is significantly smaller than an asteroid. So basically it's a space rock out there in the cosmos floating around or whatever they do in space minding its own business. It kind of sounds like a music genre, like hard rock, soft rock, pop rock, space rock. Fun fact, if anyone plays music in space, like maybe Chris Hadfield's album, would that be considered space rock just because it's played in space or would it have to do with the kind of music that's played? Meteor. A meteor is what is commonly known as a shooting or a falling star. It's those pretty things that we go out and look at falling through the sky, those streaking madness flaming stones that are really gorgeous. These are created when the space rock, meteoroid, is entering the Earth's atmosphere at an extremely fast rate due to our gravity and due to the friction in the molecules in our Earth's atmosphere, it starts to get really, really hot and creates a glow, which is what we see in the sky. And it usually starts flaming and... Okay, so that's a meteor. Meteorite. A meteorite is the remainder of an asteroid or meteoroid that has gone through the Earth's atmosphere and has made it past all the tests or the flaming experience of our atmosphere and it landed on the Earth or in the ocean or, you know, somewhere. Landed, basically. It landed. Those things that have hit our surface and we can hold and touch or find in a dust or a large rock. So those are the drastically big differences between three really similar sounding names. Now, here's the little trick that I use that helped me remember the difference between all of those and which one is called what? A meteoroid. The name kind of rhymes with void. Void. Or space or cosmos or the great near vacuum of darkness. A meteoroid is in the void of space. So that's how I remember that one. A meteor. I remember this one by using the phrase meteor showers. That one has actually a phrase to go with, so that was a little easier to remember. Meteor showers, meteor storms, stuff like that. That's helped me remember it. A meteorite. This one also rhymes with a phrase. Rhyming helps to remember things. Actually, it's scientifically proven that if you rhyme things together, it'll help you remember them. So, a meteorite lands right on the Earth, or right next to you, which would not be cool, but it rhymes. So, a meteoroid is in the void. A meteor is what brings you meteor showers. And a meteorite lands right on the Earth. All right, so that's my little trick that I use to remember the th difference between those three very similar but very different objects. I hope this helped you. Also, I wanna say a thank you because I did a poll on Twitter and all you guys voted that this is what you wanted the video to be about. If you would like to be part of the next time I put a poll and you can vote on the content and videos that I make here, you can check out my Twitter because that's where the voting happens. The link to it is in the description of this video. If you wanna check it out because I'll probably be doing a poll for my next video. If you have a tip that helped you remember, please leave it in the comments. I'd love to hear from you guys what you did and I love getting all the responses and feedback that you guys show me via YouTube and through Twitter. So I wanna say thank you for showing all that support. It encourages me to keep making these videos. If you guys found this video helpful and informative, please remember to give this video a big thumbs up. All right, so that's it and over and out space nerds.